Oh, here we go. We got some gliders, man. All right, guys. I appreciate you putting up today. With the me. five minutes. I gotta take off. Oh, I go all right, well, man, man. Take it, well, take it easy, well, man. All right, thanks, guys. All right, man. Today, the five men accused of killing a Raleigh motorcyclist were escorted from jail to court to face it. Wow, man. Ebony and Ivory. That's old school. That's like a motorcycle gang. Man. Yeah, we need a tiger in that bitch. Maybe yeah. Patel. Round it out. Yeah, man. Listen, man. This just warms my heart, man. Race relations in the United States aren't as bad as they say, man. They're, they're on their way back up. Yeah, man. Motorcyclists were escorted from jail to court to face a judge. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. This is the first time we've seen the group charged in this deadly shooting. WRL sources say it involved rival motorcycle gangs. Chelsea Donovan was in court today and she joins us live. Chelsea, what more did you learn today? Well, we should mention each of these court appearances lasted less than 15 seconds, but there was increased security inside the courtroom. Now, the suspects said very little besides the fact that they understood the charges against them and they asked for capital defenders uh, to represent them. So you've been charged with murder in the first degree. If convicted, you could get up to the death penalty or life without parole. A day after they were arrested, five suspects charged with robbing, shooting, and killing 37-year-old Jonas Padilla on New Year's Day went before Damn, a judge. They killed, the, they killed the old Brito. A bunch of fucking gliders and fucking um, suddenly killed oh, there, there was an um, Brito in there, too. Oh, there was an Oh, yeah, that's one of those guys. Listen, all facing the same penalties if convicted. Due to security risks and logistics, the men were split up going to court. Extra bailiffs were on hand during each of the appearances. Tyler Grissom and David Stevens appeared Friday morning. Vidal Reed, Anthony Cheever, and Martin Starks appeared. Why they separated by race, man? Look, I thought race relations was going well. Until uh, I, was wrong. I was wrong. I thought the guy on the right <laughs> over here was an umbrito, but he's not. Yeah, man. That should look better for optics, though. Just look, look black dude, this warms, white dude in the mix. This, this really warms my heart because first, this is old school. I bet you all those guys have legal Harleys with actual like registrations, and they all have like like driver's licenses and insurance. That's yeah. old school. They don't have that anymore in the motorcycle gangs I see up here. This yeah. is but illegal ATVs running around. Vidal Reed, Anthony Cheever, and Martin Starks appeared this afternoon. Four of the suspects are pictured in this Facebook post. Stevens, Reed, Cheever, and Grissom wearing vests with the words Red Devils. WRAL news sources have confirmed rival biker gangs are part of the investigation surrounding Padilla's death. A source tells WRAL that Padilla's a glider, man. Padilla's a glider, man. He's, 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 a, he's a He's a wedo. He's <laughs> with a with a with a Spanish surname, man. But yeah, man, that's a glider, man. Dia was part of the Pagan biker gang, and the suspects, according to sources, part of the Red Devils. A GoFundMe states that Padilla was a husband and a father, and notes help is needed for the family for funeral expenses. And he got twenty five bucks in his GoFundMe. God, and other needs. Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson speaking out today. Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson, man, yeah. smash your heard of. <laughs> they're they're in trouble. Those guys are in trouble. They're going to throw the book at those guys. Smash on the police chief, though. No doubt, man. Yo, I ain't started day. noticing that until you brought it up, man. And it's all fucking chicks. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I mean, everywhere. Like, it, it, it to the point where if I if we go to a city and the police chief's not a sister, mm. if it's a white woman, I'm shocked. But if, if it, I, it's usually a sister, <laughs> Even, the, black, even, even New York, man. Even New York. Yeah. Even if a black, a... even a black man is is, is <laughs> rare. <laughs> I'll let her run a hair salon and no city. No, no. Damn, man. I tell you, man, this this world, it's a strange world. And it's like this woman will all if you were to talk to her. 
if you were to get her like Veritas Project Veritas was to get her, she talk as if like it was 1842. You know what I'm saying? Like her experience in life. It's just so crazy, man. And other needs. Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson speaking out today. Quote, the Raleigh Police Department apprehended and removed five dangerous criminals from the streets of our city. The RPD will continue pursuing offenders who terrorize and harm our communities with callous and relentless violence. And so far, Raleigh police haven't publicly tied the shooting to clashes between these rival bike gang members. We should also mention that all five of the suspects are due back in court later this month. Gerald. Chelsea Donovan so reporting live. He made a mistake. He ran with a glider gang that killed somebody. The man said, pull up her IG. <laughs> oh, man. Like Let me see if I can find out, man. I don't know, man. She might not have an IG. I, I think it, it would be good for a police chief to stay off IG, man. Twerking for justice. Right, exactly, man. We don't want to see you twerking. Oh. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, man. I we we. <laughs> Let me see, sir. That's that is crazy though, man. Like uh, it's it's just bizarre. That's one of the bizarre things about America. Like what the fuck? Every goddamn like every one of them is gonna be a fucking sister. Like all of them. It's not you like we're not gonna mix it up. It's just like if you're a black woman and you fucking um, sign up for. Well, you, you apply for a job as a police chief. Basically, everyone else should just fucking, like, fucking just, you know, give up. It's like, you're done. You're right. Hey, and you know, low key, the gliders, they're going to be looking like, oh, that's a nice city. Who's the police chief? Ooh, I don't know. It's a fucking sunny one. Let me get the fuck out of here, son, sister. Nope, gone. Why are they clapping for it? Is this the same woman? Um, wow. The filters are amazing, man. Filters are amazing. My God. This woman doesn't even look like the same person. Filters, filters are sorcery, my G. Filters are straight up sorcery. Wow. That's her. Right here. <laughs> oh my God! She looked like Dwayne Wade, son. Right, man. Fil filters are sorcery. That's the same person. Yes, the, the filters. The filters are the sorcery. Wow. It's 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 it's, it's, it's insane. Yes, yeah, sir. Right here. That is insane, man. <laughs> You, the crazy shit is, if I saw her rugged ass, I'm like, yeah, she'll fuck the fuck out some crime. Look at her hairline and shit. But right, man. that's crazy, man. She, I mean, oh my God, Are you serious? Like this is all these chicks on IG that I be lusting over. That the it got me thinking about them. If these filters work like this, like uh, we 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 all getting fooled, man. She look like she look like someone grandmother, man. That 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 filter took a good twenty years off of her, man. You remember Courtney Clinney who uh, did the Christian album, Sally? You saw her in court. She looked rough. Oh, without, really? Without the filter, well, and all yeah. That. Yeah, I could imagine, man. It's, whoo, wow, wow. Uh, make right. sure you hit the All right, pay out, man. All right, man, take it easy. Make sure you hit the PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, support the channel. Um, <laughs> oh shit! 
She wow. lying. Look at that boy. <laughs> Yo, make shit work with your wife, man, no matter what, because this is what this is what cats gotta deal with when they dating and shit, man. You bad, yeah, could you imagine like thinking you, this is gonna show up and then that shows up? Like, Bro, God. yeah, I'm single, man. It's fucking awful, man. <laughs> Yes, you get oh, that, yeah. and Joanna man rolls up. You're like, really, dog? <laughs> Hands look like she could build a fucking house. Wow, this is this is not a good situation here, man. Um, is she a brick house? Sucks, man. Wow. Let's see. What do we get? Oh, man. Um. Okay. Carolina. 17-year-old Jermaine Fleetwood says it was just another 17-year-old Jermaine Fleetwood says it was just another day of going to school until he met face-to-face -face with the third party security guard over him having his hoodie up outside. The man asked me, can I take my hoodie off when I was outside? I told him I had him when I got inside the building because it was cold outside. Fleetwood says the security guard proceeded to pull his hood down and when Fleetwood pulled it back up over his head is when things escalated. He says he was cuffed by Hamilton County Sheriff's Department and put in the back of a car for three hours. His mother, Tara Smith, says the school didn't notify her any of this was happening. My daughter had to let me know that something was wrong with her brother. No one got in contact with me. Hamilton County Sheriff's Department spokesman Matt Lee confirmed this incident with us, but told us we needed to reach out to Hamilton County Department of Education for details. And when we reached out to HCDE, they said this, quote, we are investigating all aspects of this morning's incident, end quote. And Smith says parents received this email from Brainerd High about security, quote, elevated security measures will be in place so that we can be safe and focus on teaching and learning, end quote. But so basically, no hoodies, jackass, and we already told you that. In the fact, and, uh, that, yeah. How many times do you think after the police, after the security guard confronted him, and after the police got there, he dropped the ban? <laughs> he dropped the ban on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he was fighting and tussling. I'm sure he's acting like a jackass. Smith says. This is not the security that she had in mind for her kids, especially at school. This was, shouldn't have happened. I sent my kids to school for eight hours and then this is what takes place. Reporting at Brainerd High School, I'm Hannah May. No I ain't been to one PTA meeting ever. No, no conference ever. This is the first time we ever saw her ass connected to a school. To fucking ride for T Grizzly looking ass, man, fuck. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is bad, man. I mean, just mom, just sit sit this one out, mom. Um, sit this one out. Uh, oh my God! Yikes! Yikes! We've learned two young children found dead inside a car in Wake County died from hyperthermia. Twenty-nine-year-old Lanice Battle is charged with the murders of two-year-old Trinity and three-year-old Amora Milborn. An autopsy report released confirms the children were left in a car while their mom gambled inside a sweepstakes parlor back in August. W Jesus Christ. Jesus, Christ. Jesus. Yeah, for real, man. It's getting late, man. You can end on a dead baby. Jesus. This is just sad. I hate these porn. An autopsy report released confirms the children were left in a car while their mom gambled inside a sweepstakes parlor back in August. WRL has also learned there was a 30 to 45 minute gap from when the mom left the sweepstakes parlor and took her daughters to the hospital. We are learning new details about the hours leading up to a carry woman's arrest in connection with the deaths of her two young daughters. Lonnie's Battle's father told WRL's Matt Tallhelm his daughter may have been at a gambling parlor with her children in the car. Matt tracked down that location in North Raleigh and he joins us live. Matt? Yeah, Gerald, Battle's father told me it was a casino. That's what he called it when I talked to him after court, after his daughter's first appearance in court. An employee here at the Vegas style sweepstakes on Atlantic Springs Road confirms that Battle was here all afternoon 
Saturday. That is the day she is accused of killing her daughters. That employee did not want to go on camera, but she tells me she was working here Saturday when Battle came in. She says Battle was a regular customer. She was smash. I mean, filter, please. <laughs> filter. Um, she, this is, this is just, this is just, oh my God. This, I would agree if you included a uh, sledgehammer in that uh, smash request. Quiet and friendly. That employee tells me a battle was here gambling from about 1.30 to 7.30 Saturday. With the kids in the car the whole time. Oh my God. She tells me, quote, she was in and out the whole time she was here. Oh, Raleigh police. So she was going back and forth to check on the kids. Quote, she was in and out the whole time she was here. Raleigh police were called to Duke Raleigh Hospital about two hours later, around 940 Saturday night. It's about three miles from here. That's where they were called when two-year-old Trinity and three-year-old Amora Milburn were pronounced dead. Now, that hospital, again, just about three miles from this location here i am told by the employee here they have all kinds of security cameras up here they found out about this yesterday when detectives came by here she says everyone here is shocked now i did spend the day searching at the courthouse the only things filed in this criminal investigation with these murder charges are these two arrest warrants that were filed they say right here, those murder charges for this case. We also asked Wake County Social Services for any information about any child abuse or neglect reports over the years. We have not heard back from them just yet, but they are gathering that information if, in fact, there were any cases involving this mother. Just when you thought a story couldn't get any worse. Matt Tallhelm live and wrong. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> she was on a losing woman street. Charged with murder in connection with the deaths of her two daughters are calling it a careless mistake. WRL's Matt Tallhelm is live outside careless the Wake County Justice mistake. Center with what we're learning from family members. A conversation you'll hear only on WRL. Matt. Yeah, Deborah, I spoke with the father of Lanice Battle, who was inside the courtroom here for her first appearance. He tells me it's his understanding that his two granddaughters were left in a hot car. Now, the district attorney here would not comment on that, and we didn't learn much in court. But tonight, the mother of those two precious little girls is being held behind bars without bond for their murders. Family videos and photos preserve the happy moments in three-year-old Amora and two-year-old Trinity Milbourne's short lives. A birthday party for Amora. Happy. See, in this horse, she gets a fucking free fucking house, Section 8 or whatever the fuck they call it now. She gets Section 8 house. She gets fucking $700, $800 a fucking month for groceries and shit. She's got fucking all types of programs and shit, food pantries and shit, and free fucking wit, tanner for all this bullshit. Yeah. Yo, if you pay people to do some shit, they'll keep doing it. That's that's it. I saw someone I yeah, this is this is this 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 breaks my heart. I saw someone post uh some uh, a Costco receipt for somebody that had uh, left their receipt behind after paying with an EBT card and something like nine hundred dollars in in meat and stuff that they bought and they still had hundred dollars left on the card. Yeah, they can post on Twitter or something like that. Yeah, they get like eight hundred dollars every two weeks or something like that you know, for for groceries. And, and every time you fucking see them, they got fucking the cart loaded up with shrimp and crab legs and shit. That shit happened. I was all mad because this lady was trying to buy everything with some wick. And I was like, bitch, you holding shit up. I'm just trying to buy one thing. And I was like, wait, you was on wick. Calm down. You know, like, just let her do her thing. She got in a Mercedes Benz and drove off. I was like, fuck this hoe. Tired baby Trinity, barely able to keep her eyes open. Keisha Harris is cousins with the little girl's mother. Always smiling, lovable, energetic bubbly it's heartbreaking because we'll never see him again i spoke with harris by phone from outside the wake county justice center just minutes after her cousin lanice battle made her first appearance before a judge inside this courtroom she said her name lanice battle. 
and nothing else. This matter, you hear today, charged with two counts of murder in the first degree. If convicted, you could get up to life without parole or death penalty. The 29 year old faces those charges after police were called to Duke Raleigh Hospital Saturday night, where Battle's daughters were pronounced dead. But she just was a young girl, you know, experiencing, may have been experiencing depression or whatever the case may be. She just made a bad decision. Harris and another cousin. A bad decision. <sighs> and Lissatius Williams wouldn't go into detail about what they believe happened to Amora and Trinity. Did you hear what her cousin's name is? Harris and oh, another cousin, Lissatius Williams, wouldn't go into detail <laughs> about what they believe happened to Amora and Trinity. In an online chat with WRAL, Williams told us, our family is really hurt and lost for words, but we love Lanice no matter what, and we will support her no matter what. This was a careless mistake. Now the family that surrounded the little girls for celebrations and playdates is standing behind a mother accused of murder. And she's a caring and loving mother to her kids. At the end of the day, That's it's not why a cold blooded murder. In the car while she's gambling. He's right. Well, Yo. Lack of self awareness. Is <laughs> <laughs> That's what, like, uh, there needs to be like a, a some person to just be like, hey, man, shut the fuck up on that point. Like, she, <laughs> she left him in the car because she was on a losing streak, man. Stop. Yeah. Like, a, a careless mistake would be, oh, uh, I had them kind of in the tub and I went to go answer the phone or something like that and I came back and they, they'd fallen over and drowned or something like that. That might be a careless... It's still reckless, but it's still... It's careless. Leave them in the car in for sleep. hours, hours while you freaking gamble. That's not a careless mistake. That is <laughs> with, with the window, Yeah, with the windows up so that the car doesn't get stolen. Like, it's like... <laughs> It's like, I bet you she left the windows up so that, so that nobody can steal the car. This woman is a, a devil. She's a demon. Woman is a fucking demon. Oh my God, dog. Battle also has a six-year-old son. I'm told he is with his father, the children's father right now. I know that, that child's a father. New hey, that father... That child's father is probably like you think. I mean, he's like, listen. We've learned man, two young to get he's that kid. She gets some. Uh, she gets a bond so he can take care of her. Yo, the yeah. father probably had to drop ten grand just to get custody for the kid to not yeah. get murdered. That's a wild yeah. shit. Yeah, man, that's just that's scary, man. Um, that woman is a devil. She's a demon, man. Um. How the hell does a like a dumbass baby mama with like a bunch of kids? Keep, they keep giving her the kid like, yo, you keep letting losers nut in you, dog. Why? Like, stop. It's not, I think she's the loser, man. They she, both are. That's my. That's... She's the fucking loser, man. She killed the. She fucking look what she did. She had. She killed both of her kids, and she's not sobbing when she comes to court. How is she not renting her clothes and fucking like just like uncontrollably sobbing? She just like meets will you? Yeah, she me mugging that shit like it's about to be yeah. a mixtape later. Right. She she trying to be cool and shit and you know be stoic and shit. Like, bitch, what? You just fucking <laughs> kill both of you like what the fuck, bitch? Man, if it wasn't for the fucking gliders putting the fucking the the Indians and casinos, that shit wouldn't have happened, though, man. Stop. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's, 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 it's the cloud of the end of the day, man. But shit. All right, let's see this. Well, we are learning more about the Durham shooting that left five people hurt. The mayor says all of the victims are young men. We do know at least one of them is a juvenile. And police told us earlier that they're all expected to be okay. So that shooting happened at a Subway uh, restaurant on uh, North Miami Boulevard on Sunday. Surveillance cameras captured people trying to avoid the bullets. The shooting is top of mind of Durham leaders who talked about lift. it during tonight's council. <laughs> We were all heavy with sadness and still are about what happened. But we didn't nevertheless. Black man, black woman man. I mean, whatever. <laughs> what did you expect? 
you were all heavy with sadness and still are about what happened. But we nevertheless, there is hope. And there is hope when we have courage to help each other. You gotta be able to see those who are invisible, those who are marginalized and have been marginalized. And we have to give them opportunities. To She's talking about the people that shot up that fucking subway and had all those people ducking for cover. Man, we just love them more, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they would, they yeah. wouldn't just, and it was a bad shot too. It was at the bottom, of, like making them dance. And how the fuck are you supposed to see someone that's invisible too? Right. It, it's like it's it's just. I wish they were invisible, man. Like as far as like that would be, it would be much safer if they were invisible. But <laughs> this shit, this is this is insane, man. More free stuff. Just give them more free stuff, man. Um, for shooting, for shoot, for terrorizing the community. The shooting is top of mind of Durham leaders who talked about it during tonight's council. We were all heavy with sadness and still are about what happened, but we nevertheless there is hope, and there is hope when we have courage to help each other. You got to be able to see those who are invisible, those who are marginalized and have been marginalized. And we have to give them opportunities to participate fully in life and to give themselves an opportunity to do something different other than pick up a gun and shoot another person. No one has been arrested for Sunday's shooting. Police did release pictures of the car they believe may be involved. If you have information about that shooting, you're asked to speak up. Just call the police immediately. Tonight Man, uh Legend says if you die in a subway, you automatically go to hell. So just be careful, y'all. Yeah, man. Sun boy. <laughs> what is it? Sun boy. Um, this is, man. <sighs> I'm this tonight for show, even though I don't think this is like that. This, this wasn't one of the best shows I've ever had because. I had to leave for a while and yada, 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 shows all over the place. But for some reason, this show is making me less optimistic about it. Like, I, I don't think I felt this, this, little, this less optimistic about the situation in a while after, after the show was over. For some reason, I don't know why, but I just feel like, <laughs> I feel dread about what the situation is. So, so I, yeah. Minneapolis Sometimes. had the 20th mass shooting of the year and also had the 22nd mass shooting of the year. And mm. Rising Crime News, she actually drove through Minneapolis and, and, and did some tour there. And one of the places that she went on Friday got on Saturday. You said what? One of the places Rising what? Crime News, she actually drove through there, you know, showed, showed what it looked like with all the snow there. And mm -hmm. went to the neighborhoods and did the crime stats and stuff like that on a video, a 15 minute video. And then there was a mass shooting there, you know, that Saturday after after she left. I do like that you that you shot out the. I, I do like that you shot out the uh, cash app and the PayPal um, after rapes. So that keeps me happy. Yeah, man. <laughs> You know, gotta, gotta, you, gotta, keep, you yeah. gotta find a joy in life there. I <laughs> yeah, man, it's, 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 it's rough, man. Um, let's see. Topping the 10 at 10, a pregnant mother gunned down in a Lakeville parking lot. Her baby survived. A suspect is in custody. Good evening. I'm Amy Hawker. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Family telling us that 31-year-old Kyla O'Neill.